Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and today we're going to talk about something that is simply going to arrive real soon. Windows 10 19H1 or April 2019 update. So today we are March 1st 2019 and this is the month where we expect the next version of Windows to arrive for insiders. I mean we've been testing it for the fast ring and we had a few builds in the past couple of weeks and it will eventually during this month become the real deal the official version that everybody will get starting in April so that means that they're in really heavy bug fixing mode right now and to show it that the last version the last build we got had no new features it only had bug fixes now there's still a good list of bugs in it so they need to work hard to make this better once again this is going to arrive to everybody in April and it has quite a lot of little features here and there um, but you know no major feature that is just uh, amazing I will we'll do today um, a video showing some of the features highlighting some of the new stuff coming up that might be interesting um, of course, to prepare for this is very simple. Uh, technically, a backup of your files is a good idea. If you have seen kind of the fiasco of the October 2018 update, you know that this is something that could happen. Losing files is always a possibility when upgrading Windows. But for the most part, and for almost anyone uh, that upgraded, it still went quite well. Uh, we are in a very special um, Windows 10 moment here uh, it, that never happened before the fact that not a lot of people are on the October 2018 update yet and yet we are a month month and a half away from a release to everybody of this new version of Windows so all of this together is making it uh, kind of interesting here because uh, well some people jump directly to um, the April 2019 update and never see what the October 2018 update was all about. Um, I don't know, that's possible. Um, maybe it'd be, uh, they'll be rolling it out together, meaning a lot of you will still be getting the October 2018 update while the April 2019 update is rolling, which is of course uh, possible, but really not the best thing that can happen to people um, and to Microsoft also. But we are marching, um, in, in marching, yeah, in March and marching. This uh, version is coming up soon, and um, I think we need to, uh, to prepare. One of the recommendations, a few people were saying, you know, do you have a few tips that, that I could give for people to, you know, prepare to this new version? Well, you know, back up your files. I think that's very important. Um, even if you don't upgrade to Windows 10 different versions, uh, doing so is always important. Uh, backing up everything that's important is necessary in just every day-to-day -day PC life um, to make sure you never lose anything if something happens. Uh, it could be something else. It could be your PC that breaks down a hard drive that uh, crashes and yeah, you got no files anymore. Um, uninstall, you know, anything that is um, unnecessary. Uh, any f programs you might have installed that do different things that you don't use anymore. Uh, maybe go to the uh, apps and, and uninstall these programs and these apps that never use so that you have only the ones that really, really um, you like. Uh, of course, um, for the rest, you know, it, it is um, something that will happen at some point. Uh, it could take a lot of time. Some of you might not see it before the summer. Uh, remember that they're sending it out in waves and I'm pretty sure they're going to start sending it out really slowly at first because they want to make sure that uh, it rolls out well. So, um, you know, it could take a lot of time before it's here. But uh, during this month, we will be looking at this and uh, hopefully in the, in the next couple of weeks, um, three weeks, at most, um, I'll have my full review of uh, April 2019 update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.